What's up, everybody? Jason here from jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2020 Panini Spectra Football 4-Box Break. Pick your teams number one. Just sold out. It's a happy new release day for Spectra Football. Uh, remember, number, uh, breaks number one and two are from the same master. And we sold all teams, I believe, straight up. There you go. Looks like Pat got the Detroit Lions last spot mojo. And here's everybody else in the break. Thank you, guys. And again... Fresh case, new release. Always a big fan favorite, Spectra is. So let's rip it open. Jesus Christ. Stop calling me, telemarketers. Jesus, I gotta change that number. Anyway, um. So, let's open it up. Looks like Derek Henry on the box. Nice. Tony, I haven't specifically gotten that, but I mean, I've gotten uh, Big Mac and fries with a McFlurry many times. It's <laughs> so, so funny that they named one after him. All right. So, one, two, three on the left. Four, five, six on the right. Oh, did, have, have they sold already, Josh? I need to buy some, too. One. One, two, three. Forgot they were selling those today. Three p.m., so what is that, 12? Alright, well, I have time. I'll look it up. I'll bring up the link on my phone. Alright, one, two, three. So these will be PYT number two. Put those here. They're just checking on my car insurance policy? Why would they do that? They don't know that I they don't know that I got a hit and run the other day, huh? How do they know that? guys good luck oh got the autograph sometimes right at the bottom so again guys the next one is actually in single digits all right first we got a little base here max crosby uh 10 out of 75 We got a little DK Metcalf to 25. Max Impact, three color patch for the Seahawks. Very nice. Ooh, some of these are gonna be extra 180s this time. That's shocking. Seahawks with, Alvaro with the Seahawks. And we got to 35. Look at that little Chase Claypool. Eagles made him very famous this past week. Or more popular, I guess. Four TDs, right? 31 out of 35. Mike Gallucci. And we got out of 99, Terry McLaurin Sky High. That's a very nice looking card right there. Washington football team going to mark. Very beautiful looking card. Next one we got little Jordan Brooks for the Seahawks to 99. We have little DeAndre Swift, 23 out of 50. Very nice. Last ball mojo, <clears throat> Pat. How about already to 75 little triple relic of Joey B building blocks. Uh, that is Bengals going to Sean 
and J.K. Dobbins to 99. This is a little RPA. Baltimore Ravens going to Aaron. Next one. Whoa, look at that. Gold vinyl ready to start off with a base right there. How about a little gold vinyl Ryan Tannehill? One of one. Not bad. Look at that, not bad. Arthur Hackett with the Titans. Not too shabby. A little gold vinyl already. A little DeAndre Swift to 149. A little rising rookie. So that was well worth the Titans $30 right there, Tony. I'll take that. Can't complain for a one on one for 30 bucks. We have. Little res what is it? Respectra? Is that Respectra? It is Respectra. Little uh, DeAndre Hopkins Texans edition and Von Miller for the Broncos. So there you go. Denver Broncos, Houston Texans, King D, Broncos EA. So that'll be a randomizer. And Patrick Queen to seventy five. Little autograph there for the Baltimore Ravens. Jonathan out of 60. Jonathan Taylor. Colts going to Derek. Little Bobby Wagner. Little die cut. Number to 30. Seahawks with that one. Going with going to Albert. We got Dallas Cowboys. Daryl Johnston. To 30. Moose. With that one. Cowboys, that's Sal. And to 99. Little aspiring patch autographs. Four color patch, actually, call it. Look at that. Very nice. Gabriel Davis. I actually like him a lot. It's pretty good. Bills, let's go into D Porter. All right, so there you go. First box done. Let's go with the next box. Ben Roethlisberger out of 75. Um, well, I mean, Claypool, you know, was a, was one that I know people really liked already in Pittsburgh, but definitely balled out. I mean, I don't know if I don't know how crazy any other one has gotten besides like Herbert, you know, some of the top ones. I like the Gabriel Davis, but I don't think his stuff is going to jump up that crazy. I mean, not that he just plays for the Bills, but it's just more like he'd have to have like a Claypool type of game, you know? Jerry Judy. Um, but I'm trying to think some of the other big names. Denzel Mims to 15. Ooh, nice little three color patch and matching the the ink for the Jets. Cuz 
Because it's really the more re it's really the receivers that are actually balling out more than anything. I mean, Henry Rugg stuff I'm sure has gone up a little bit right after last week's game. Jerry Judy had a pretty good game the week before. We got a little rook, uh, rookie aura. Fortune out of 50 Cam Akers. Yeah, and I, I was thinking more like we should buy. We should like buy up like rugs if anything, you know. Out of 25, little Lamar Jackson. Look at that. A little brilliance patch. Clyde was you there? It started off really hot, Don, but it's kind of died down just a little bit. And I have a feeling his stuff's going to die down a lot more now that Le'Veon Bell's there. So, I mean, he has to have a crazy good week this week just to kind of stay relevant. And, I mean, that's that's bound to happen with, with running backs after a while. I think the receivers tend to do much better because they get passes from Patrick Mahomes. They get passes from these quarterbacks, you know? So, 99, Antonio Gibson. But not that Clyde Edwards alert stuff is not good, but, you know. Jordan Love is, is a good long-term investment because, I mean, unless Aaron Rodgers gets injured, he's not playing this year, right? <laughs> and probably not next year. But for sure, his, more, his is more of a long-term investment. Two is another one. I feel like people are kind of getting upset that he hasn't played yet and his stuff is starting to drop. But, I mean, he's not going to play unless Ryan Fitzpatrick literally, like, just plays so horrible that that they're, he's just going to have to get the start or he gets injured. But... I think Tua still has a lot of potential, too. So, um, Tua's obviously another good buy, too, but as long as Fitzpatrick is, is winning. All right, little Lynn Bowden Jr. You got Tyler Lockett, DK Metcalf to 99. Dynamic duels. Yeah, that's the that's the real downside is that we didn't get to see some of these rookies do well in the the preseason. To ninety nine, Malcolm Jenkins. Very nice. I miss him. Championship gear. I mean, I don't blame you, Derek. I mean, some people think that, some people don't. Clyde Edwards Elair to seventy five. Little building block. But. Um, can't say that yet, but the good thing is that his stuff is not selling like he's a starter now. I mean, look at Justin Herbert. He gets thrown into the fire and does so well the first week. His stuff skyrockets, does even better second week, third week, and and, and then you know, then by the time you know it, Justin Herbert now is probably selling for a little bit more than two, uh, her, uh, Burrow. And I know a lot of people that didn't think that Herbert would be good because he came from Oregon and you know. Don't think he's in a transition. Well, wow, look at the past quarterbacks. Joey Bosa. But I always felt like he was going to transition just fine. Lynn Bowden Jr., little die cut. To 20. Momental. To 50. Patches. Jacob Eason. This is the one that's kind of intriguing. Is actually this guy. Because Philip Rivers does not look good. Right, Derek? Tell me the truth. And we kind of know Jacoby Brissett. They kind of gave him a shot last year. And it didn't work out. Right? So this one is the more interesting one. How he's probably selling so cheap. Like, so cheap, I'm probably sure. Because he's not even a backup. He's like a he's like a third stringer, right? So it's like he's the more interesting one. Where um, I would I would to one ninety nine Utah Gross Montos. He would be a one. Is the uh, is the interesting one where you can get him so cheap, like super super cheap. And if he finally gets the time to, to play and he does well enough, I mean you know it's gonna double triple. So. That's an interesting one right there to me. I mean, I know you're chasing. See, this is the one thing. For the Colts this year, you're pretty much chasing Jonathan Taylor. So guess what? Not a bad person to be linked up with. You know, <laughs> they're probably treating him as like, 
the Jalen Brunson to Luka Doncic, you know, the the whatever to this person, you know. That so when you get the when you get the uh, the Colts, you're like, oh, I want Jonathan Taylor, but you might end up with Jacob Eason. So that's kind of the funny thing. True, I forgot Pittman Jr. is also there too. But yeah, he's a little injured right now. But you know what I mean? Like, your Jacob Eason is like the third rookie option out of the bunch. So that's that that's an intriguing one for me. Now I'm not saying go out and go buy like the most expensive cards you can of him. I mean you could if you want to, but to me I think that's pretty intrigu intriguing. All right, Marlon Mack. Nice. To 15, Roquan Smith. Fireworks. Fabric. I know Marlon Mack was a big tough blow. But, I mean, it does give Jonathan Taylor to, to, like, more chance to shine, right? They'll be a good, good combo tandem, though. Jason Taylor, Epic Legends for the Dolphins. And we got Minka Fitzpatrick to 50. Va uh, vested veterans. He's only getting 50% of the snaps? Well, I take that back, Derek. I don't really watch the Colts play too much. But I know you do. So he's only getting 50%? Who's he, who's he sharing it with again? Saquon Barkley. Little Darren Waller. Die cut to 50. Oh, Naheem Hines, that's right. All right, to 99. Little Epic Legends, Troy Aikman. John, see what's going on, man. And here's a guy I told you about, right? Just just blew up. Thanks to my Eagles. Little Chase Claypool. I'm sure you're very happy to see this, right, Michael Lucci? There you go, man. Steel Curtain. Yeah, we could do that still today too, John C. I mean, like I said, we're going to be live for more than 15, 16 hours today. So at some point, all those breaks are going to fill. I know Spectra's probably going to rule the day today, but that doesn't mean we can't do any of these other breaks that are close. Jared Goff, 89 out of 99. Little Greedy Williams to 75. Max Impact. About a little building blocks, Jerry Judy. Denver Broncos. Yay, and how about this, guys? A four out of four, Dan Marino. Illustrious legends. Woo. For the Dolphins, going to Rich. This is more of a safer one right now, right, than Tua? <laughs> Four out of four, a little Dan Marino. Very nice. Nice. Luke Keekly. Miss Luke Keekly, man. That dude was such a beast. Oh, yeah, Teddy Mojo, right? That's right. Forgot Teddy the Dolphins fan. Derrick Henry. Jacob Eason. Little building blocks. And how about a little
little four color patch auto of Joshua Kelly for the UCLA Bruin. Three out of 75. Charge is going to Rich. All right, guys. Last one here. Again, this was pick your team number one. Spectra number two is in the store. And uh, I see some orders that came in. We'll do random teams after this, but pick your team number two is still at six left. So you guys must be filling up other stuff, I'm assuming, if we haven't moved any of those pick your teams. So let's get the next half roll in as well, guys. A few teams still remaining. Not sure which ones they are, but... You know, you can make a better, I guess, decision, judgment on if you want to grab a second team or a first team in the next half, depending on what gets hit here. Yeah, Joshua, I mean, I have a feeling we will. I think there's going to come a point where some of these teams aren't going to sell as fast, and we're definitely going to do R&Bs. So, do not worry. I'm sure we will do those. We got a little Dalvin Cook. 75. Rookie Aura. Bengals. Clyde Edwards Elair. And there you go. How about that, Derek? Out of 50, a little patch auto, Jonathan Taylor. Nice, you got 12 Mosaic Megas coming today? There you go, man. All right, next one. More for you, man. More for the Colts. Jacob Eason. Two out of 60. Anthony McFarlane Jr. to 99, rising rookie. We got a little Nick Chubb to 25. Ooh, this next one is really nice, guys, honestly. Again, another person that retired pretty young, but again... How about a five out of five, Patrick Willis? Ooh, patch auto as well, vested veterans. That is a beautiful card. That's going to Victor with the 49ers. Very nice. Little Patrick Willis, five out of five. That is a beaut. All right, last two here. Sony Michelle. Jerry Judy. Little Troy Aikman to 99. Epic Legends. A little Respectress. Baker Mayfield, Kyler Murray. Very nice. Colts, or sorry, uh, Browns, Glenn, and Cardinals, Matt Johnston. It's another uh, randomizer. And Darnell Mooney to 199. The Chicago Bears. It's going to Jonathan. 
Alright, last one here, guys. Good luck. Marquise Hollywood Brown to 25. Simmons, Isaiah Simmons, number to 30. Little Miko Harmon to 99. Sunday Spectacle. And Antonio Gandy Golden for the Washington football team going to mark is the last hit of the break, guys. So, the second half is in the store, guys. We have a couple of randomizers to do. And uh, if you guys want to take a quick glance at what teams are potentially remaining. There you go here. Detroit Lions. We're last one mojo in the last one. They're available. Jaguars at 60. Chiefs. Well, hey, we got some Clyde Edwards, Elair, I believe, Relics and Base, and, you know, this last Michael Harmon, but there could be some monstrous stuff still hiding for them. Rounds available at $64.99, Bucks at $130, and the Titans at $40. So there you go, guys. Um, let's quickly randomize the customer names. Randomize the customer names and uh, see who's going to win these uh, dual relics. Well, Joshua, we need to, we will. Um,. But of course, you know, someone might actually want to take the Chiefs straight up just because just because uh, there wasn't anything crazy for them on this half. And I'm sure they're pricey not only for Clyde Edwards Eler, but there must be Patrick Mahomes in here. But we'll give it some time. If not, Nick will do it right away. I'm not sure if he's watching. He might be doing it already. Browns. Cardinals. There you go. Did he really, Don? Okay, I'll let him know. Let me do this randomizer. Let's roll it, and it's a two and a five seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times. Broncos wins that one. Now let's go seven times over here for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Goes to the Cardinals. There you go, guys. Appreciate it. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.